Hey, so it's actually a little bit later in the morning today. Um, and I am like, it's like middle of the morning. And I was like, you know what? I want to put some makeup on. But um, I want to um, do it, try to do <laughs> this kind of unedited and like, I don't want to say see how fast I can do it, but um, I don't know. I just want to put some on. But low key, it's rainy. It's a cozy day. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. Oh, something's in my eye, of course. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. But um, so I probably won't even take my flexi rods out. Keep the bonnet on. But I just, I don't know. I want to make up on my face. So yeah, let's do a face. Let's do a full face. I am going to try not to get up. So I'm going to be using if I have new items or just shot my sass because I just want to put a face on. I have no goal. I do have one product that I want to use because I think it'll. Yeah, so I'm going to um, do. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not when I'm in a rush because I'm not in a rush, but like the easier route. Part of um, this is the NYX Stick It Stick It Brow. Uh, what is that? Brow Thickening Mascara. <laughs> So part of my joy of applying makeup is, I don't care how long it takes me. I get up early if I'm doing it in the morning because I want all the time, you know, if I am, we're going somewhere and I want to do full glam, which I'm always doing full glam, I will take, start getting ready three hours earlier. I don't like to feel rushed. I don't like there's very there's very few times where i my i i, I don't want to spend a lot of time on my makeup like i just i enjoy it i let it take as long as it takes i'm going to fill in a little bit with a dip brow um i actually bought a new dip brow color this is chocolate i bought medium brown but i haven't opened that one yet just going to do a little bit of dip brow but yeah, I just, I don't like to rush with anything. And like my makeup is something that I really enjoy. And like, I don't care how complicated my routine is. I'm, it is what it is. I'm not looking for the easier or faster way to do anything in my makeup routine, really. I'm not. I'm looking for the best uh, or the most fun, you know, most fulfilling for me. But fastest, nah. If it's a situation where I, I need to put makeup on and, or I want to wear makeup and for some reason it's last minute, I hate that. Or some reason, uh, I don't know, I have a short amount of time, it really stresses me out. Gives me anxiety. I just don't like it. Um, that's why I'm a very organized person. I do not like, I like random plans sometimes, but if it's that random, then I'm just not going to wear makeup. I'm gonna just be bare faced and that's fine um but most of the time you know I want to I want to put some makeup on so I just I make sure I plan my life out where I always have enough time <laughs> um so I'm gonna carve my brows out with some with some concealer yeah so, you know, those quick and easy 10 minute, you know, those videos and like those tips and stuff that people post, they're great. And I do have quick things that I do. Like, again, if I want to throw a face on and I don't have time, I do have priority steps that I'll do and I have it. It doesn't bring me that much joy. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm cute and I move on. But like, ooh, I don't get that satisfaction of like, oh, I don't, this only took 10 minutes. No, because I eat enjoy the process of putting on makeup not just wearing it am i making sense i don't know i enjoy this part sitting here with my music my beverage talking to the camera whatever the situation may be that day i enjoy this and i don't care how long it takes you know so that's kind of where it is i have fun doing this part not just wearing it I actually have more fun applying it than I do wearing it. I love wearing it, but wearing it, it's on. And you, you know, you got to be careful with certain things or you're touching up or whatever. I don't know. But applying it is fun. Anyway. Okay. So I'm going to sit this, I'm going to sit this, uh, uh, blend out this brow. 
get myself together. So these are not my full glam brows. So yeah, I'm gonna be put together. Almost glam, but almost not. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't think I'm gonna put on a lash. I don't think that, but all right. So I'm going to prime my lids and let me use Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I do have something new for um, the eyes and part of the face. So I didn't really post a whole Black Friday because I'll be honest, I didn't do much shopping. I went to Bath and Body Works and I made a Sephora. Oh no, my thing's not closing. I made a Sephora order. Uh, what is it? A buy online pickup and store order of three items. Uh, one was the Gwen Stefani, um, her brand, a little lip sample kit that was 50% off. And the dip brow in the medium brown. Because that was also 50% off. And then this palette I'm about to show you because that was also 50% off. So this is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette in the dark. And what it is is you get five shadows and you get uh, two cream uh, cream face products that are protected by another cover here and you get a cream blush and a cream highlight I'm gonna use this whole palette today and I'm also going to uh, you know among other things so I am going to apply my color corrector ooh should have put on primer first you know what we're not going anywhere I'm gonna apply this color corrector right here and let it sit let it sit for a sec and then while well, I do my eyes and I'll put on some face primer as well. Um, what I got in this drawer. Let's do the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. Put that on. Put that on. Don't blend out the color corrector yet. Don't blend out that. that one okay. okay all right so for this look um i'm gonna use probably all five shades let's go ahead with um they're labeled this is so you have outer corner you have transition let's get in front outer corner transition uh smoke inner corner increase don't know if i'm putting them everywhere that they say but let's do it let's start with the transition shade I just might I just might and yeah so we're gonna put this on Tasha Denona's palettes are really nice quality and I'm glad I started I don't want to say to invest in them but they are an investment damn um so uh yeah, I her midi palettes. I was thinking about getting the 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 what is it? The my glam, my something, not my glam, my oh god, the one that's in the uh, beige packaging with like the black splatters on it. That one. Um, I'm thinking about it. Hopefully, it'll go on sale. Um, cause her price for her palettes has gone up too, which is unfortunate. So. Alright, I'm going to take the one that's labeled crease and I'm going to be a little bit more defined in the crease. I need a smaller, smaller crease brush, blending brush. Um, so yeah, her palettes are really nice. So I am attending, let's talk since I'm, I am attending, oh yeah, let's get that in there. Um the makeup shop it's not gonna be a big deal <laughs> so you guys remember I went to the makeup show the makeup show is a makeup convention it's like IMS but it is smaller I went uh, the year before last in November of no it wasn't it was November 2021 I went November 2021 um, not 2020 I'm sorry so 
And it's a it's a nice convention. Again, not as big as IMATS. Don't know the status of IMATS New York, if it's ever coming back. I hope it is. But I found this one, and I went and bought stuff. I did a haul. It's really nice. It was really cool. Okay. They also have, they have it every year in New York, and it's at different times. So this year was like in April, and I believe I was doing something, like maybe through moving and things. I didn't realize, and I missed it, and that's fine. Um, but they have something called the Makeup Shop. And so it's the same company that puts it on, but it's specifically to shop. So I don't know if it's going to be as many seminars, as many stage demonstrations. Um, but it is uh, December 10th, the weekend of December 10th. And it is, uh, okay, my mother called me, so I had all of them. Yeah, it's the weekend of December 10th. And so the brands are coming back to offer discounts, to shop. Um, so the list is not as long as I'm at. It's probably like a quarter of what I'm at is. I don't expect me doing a big haul, but we're going to ride up and take the bus up to New York, uh, me and my mother, and um, see what they got going on. All right, so for the lid, I'm going to use both shades. It says inner corner and outer corner, but I'm going to do one on the first half of my lid and then the second half-ish, and I'll smoke out the edges with the one that says smoke. Um, not working super hard on this, but still going to be a nice, complete situation. Um, I should probably wet my brush for this one. So, yeah, I, I'm excited for that. Um... <laughs> I'm excited for that. Yeah, wet brush or finger will probably work better. Let me see. My finger will work even better. It's like a taupey sh Oh yeah, that's where you wanna, that's what you wanna do. So let's get it on with the finger. Some say shades just work better with your finger. That's really pretty. Um. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It's like a taupe. Oh, wow. And then I'm going to take my finger and overlap the outer corner shade. Why not? Put all, put all of them on there. So quite excited about that. Um, quite excited. Um, where was I with this conversation? Yeah, so that's coming, and that'll be, um, you probably, guys will see a video about it, probably mid-December. Uh, I don't know if I'll vlog it, maybe I should vlog it, um, since I don't think it's gonna be super shopping heavy, and I'll be super distracted, so maybe I should vlog it. Also, since I'm not driving, and we're taking the bus, maybe I'll vlog it. So that's pretty. We're doing something. I think I want to take that taupey shade and do a little bit under, under the brow. With my brush, yeah. Yeah. I think you can go really hard with this palette. Let's get the smoke shade. Let's put a little bit, bit of that out here. And deepen up my outer area even more. Yep, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, so. Deepen it up. That's pretty. All right, we're kind of going to go back and forth. Um, I need to blend out the color corrector a little bit. I'm going to use a brush. And push that in. I, I like to push my color corrector in. Um, instead of, I guess, kind of how I blend concealer, blend everything else. I don't know. I feel like I approach my color corrector just so much differently than I approach other cream products. And in reality, I probably don't. I probably blend it just like everything else. But in my mind, I just feel like I treat it so different. I don't know. Okay. And I'm going to set, I'm going to set the color corrector with a bit of my new Mora powder. My new Mora powder here. I just throw my brush. And I'm gonna put that under there. And I think that's a pretty 
good correction situation we have going on. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. All right. So back to the eyes. I'm going to do a brown eyeliner. Um, I'm actually going to take, let's see what we have in the new area. One of my new Mora Beauty liners. The shadow sticks that I just did a video on those. Let's see. Do we have any like, ooh, maybe copper? Copper might be pretty. Let's do copper. Is taupe shimmery? No. Unless I want to go deeper. And eh, no, I want to do copper. Let's do copper. Okay. I'm actually going to dull it a little bit when I'm doing eyeliner. Put this. Oh, it's so pretty. Put that on the waterline. Uh, so now my waterline is super metallic. Very pretty. Quite pretty. I like that. I really like that. All right. Let's do another one in the inner corner. Let's see what we have. We have pearly white. We have dazzling. Whatever dazzling is. That's dazzling right there. Let's put it in the corner. Why not? Oh, I need to, I got a little color corrector on it. Let's wipe that off. There we go, we're cute. Alright, let's wipe, let's wipe that off. I got a little color corrector on it. Alright, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, we are going to curl these lashes. And I'm not even going to put on lashes. I'm, I'm not leaving the house. And we're going to apply mascara. Um, so one of my favorite mascaras that, that, you know, gives what it needs to give is the It Cosmetics Superhero. I actually just picked up a new one uh, from Ulta during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday situation because the mascaras were on sale 50% off. Um, some of them. And I got me another It Cosmetics. So I haven't opened the new one yet, but this one's on its way out. I actually bent the wand in my current one, but it still works. It still gets the job done. So I'm going to curl... Curl, curl, curl. I bent it being real fast. <laughs> it's bent. It's not supposed to be bent. And then I think the stoppers, it's it's a mess. But it's still product that works in here. So, we're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it. Such a good mascara. Such a good mascara. How pretty is that? Okay. Pretty. I might take my flexi brows out. Just, just for this. Just maybe. I don't know. Y'all ain't gonna see it in this video. If I decide to film another video today, maybe. That's the way my day goes. The way it goes. So, um, can't really talk about doing this. Such a good mascara. Such a good mascara. All right, let's move on to the face. Easy peasy. So we primed, we've color corrected. I pulled off from my shop, my stats, the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. Um, it was in my shop, my stash. I'm going to apply that. I remember being pretty decent coverage. The shade though, let's see what shade I have. I just feel like it was orange. It's caramel beige. 
maybe I'm thinking of something else, but let's do one side and see what we got going on. Oh, it's actually cool. It's actually a little bit cool. I'm going to put this on. I'm using the Zorea Slanted Powder Brush to put this on. Uh, this brush came from Amazon. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, it's pretty. Pretty even coverage. I didn't do as much foundation as I normally do, but it's good coverage. And with my concealer, I think we're going to be all right. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, yes. I really like the way that metallic pencil is showing up on my under eye. I like that. See how long it lasts. I know when I did my swatches in that video, it lasted a long time under. Uh, not last a long time. I'm sorry. It was very hard to come off. That's what I was trying to say. But uh, let's see. my heater listen when you live in an old house you hear all kinds of things heaters creaks and doors and ghosts and everything okay cool so pretty nice even coverage okay I like that been a while since I used it clearly it's in my shop my stash okay concealers I have in the shop my stash that heater is annoying I know and I'm sorry um I think I'm gonna go I have my oof, makeup revolution uh, concealer this is the uh, conceal and fix ultimate coverage concealer um, this is the lighter one I have it's in the shade dark sand there it is and I'm gonna use a brush for that as well a Morphe M335 because I just don't feel like wetting a sponge so I'm gonna dip in that and I'm going to really blend this in as a, um, I gonna say as if I don't blend in my foundation my concealer all, all the time but I'm using less than I normally would with this brush um, because it's in a jar so it's usually like I like you know I swipe my concealer on and all that can't really do that with this this is a very thick concealer very thick but I'm gonna it's blending nicely with this brush with this fluffy brush though all right I've actually been putting it on the side of my nose um uh I get I'm, I get dark spots right on the sides of where my glasses are um, so so nice I don't remember me fully fully loving this concealer I remember liking the coverage but I just don't remember being in love with it um, and I don't know why because right now it's doing a pretty good job it's, it's really pretty I just know I had, I didn't have like, I didn't give it like A+. Plus. I'm trying to, that's why I said my shot mustache. To refresh my memory. So we have the concealer on. Let's throw some in the center. Here. If you are unlike me, and you don't, don't like, what is it? It smells like coconut like where does that whiff of what is that it's just like a really sweet scent just past my nose and it I feel like it's coming off of this brush <laughs> did I unearth a scent I don't know I don't know all right boom so let's set the concealer What's in my drawer? What's in my drawer? Because that's where we are with this. Um, I 
Okay, let's set with the um, RCMA makeup in the Premier Loose Powder in Amber. It's so funny because I got this uh, powder from the makeup show last year. I'm gonna set it. Cool. Set it. Nice. That's some excess off. Okay. Now, for the whole face um, in the drawer, we're going to go with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Deep. This is a really nice powder for like $5 or maybe less than $5. It's a really nice powder. So I'm going to swirl it in my cap and go ahead kind of bring the face together. There we go. Let's contour a little bit. Let's contour a smidge. I think I'm going to put a deep lip on. Uh, I have the Huda Glowish uh, bronzing powder, contour powder, soft radiance. Um, chapstick on. I need a little chapstick. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put, use some lip oil. Let's go ahead and um put our lower mascara on. looking good all right blush so we're gonna use the blush in the palette does it have a name it just says cream blush we're gonna use this and I'm gonna get a blush well cream blush brush or brush I use for cream blush this is the real techniques yep instapop cheek brush and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna be pretty generous with my blush today I feel like overdoing blush today. Almost like all the way on the, <laughs> all over that half of my face for real. And I'm pressing it into the skin because with cream blushes, you don't want to pick up, try your best not to pick up um, your foundation and products underneath. I am. Then I'm going to take my finger with the highlight and tap that, kind of overlapping the blush with my finger. And we can blend. This is Natasha Denona, so I'm going to blend with the finger because it will work. Okay. Looking at my lips, like the natural lip line that I have going on, I think a deep, deep 90s glossy lip might be, might be the way to go. It might be the way to go. All right, y'all, that's that face. Let's spray. Don't think I need it.
do a lip. Let's do a lip. If you see another video like this, okay, with this makeup on, mind your business. Let's do a lip. Let's do a nice. Uh, what do I have over here? Do I have any lip glosses over here uh, to use? I don't know. I definitely think this lip should be a little shiny today. Oh, wait. I have a couple. I have a couple. I have some. Let's see what we can do. So let's get my, my deep lip liner. Let's do a... This is my NYX lip pencil in espresso. some of the lip oil off so this can blend better you know what slip liner given what it needs to give let's do a little bit oh let's see what colors do I have here? I'm going to take a little bit. Is this a light peachy shade? Alright, this is the Be Bold. Let me see, is this the one I want to use? Nope. I don't want to use that. I don't want that. No. I don't want that. These ain't light enough. I'm trying to go through lipsticks that I have over here. Ooh! 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 MAC Velvet Teddy. My work. Let's do a little bit of the liquid here. Let's do a little bit of the powder kiss. This is the Max uh, Powder Kiss and Teddy Kiss. That's not light enough. Nope. Is that what I want? I don't even know if that's what I want. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna do this. Do I dare? Do I? Do I dare? In keeping with the theme of not getting up, do I do I dare use a little concealer? Do I dare? Do I dare? <sighs> do I dare? A little Maybelline Age Rewind. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's the lip liner? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's looking. Hold on. Let's throw a gloss on. This is the Kiss Professional. Um gloss uh, in glam kiss professional glam shine gloss let's see let's see if this is what I want because this is what I have at my desk no I don't know if I want that I don't. damn it I don't want to get up I really don't want to get up oh wait wait shot my stash shot my stash yeah I think I got it Juvia's place this is their lip gloss in Oasis. Yep, I think I got it. I think we got it. Mm-hmm. 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 That did something. That that did something. That just about did something. It's getting a little 90s today. Yeah. 
If you see another video and my head's down and I'm talking with this makeup on my business, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.